Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and we got a report from Shams giving us an update on what's going on with the New York Knicks and the Utah Jazz regarding a Donovan Mitchell trade. We finally get an understanding of what the New York Knicks are offering the Utah Jazz for Donovan Mitchell, and it's a package that is not enough in order to get Donovan Mitchell because Utah Jazz wants a significant upgrade on this package. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the package that the, that the Leon Rose and the New York Knicks are offering the Utah Jazz for Donovan Mitchell. Give you guys my thoughts if that's a realistic package. Is the deal going to get done with this? Are the Knicks going to go a little higher with their price? What's going to happen? Because it's been dragging on for so long. Is Donovan Mitchell actually coming to the Knicks or is he not? So in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts on the report from Shams of The Athletic and give you guys my overall takes from all the latest news regarding Donovan Mitchell. If you guys want to comment down below your thoughts of all the latest news, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comments. All the takes down below are awesome to read. Whether you guys agree with me or disagree with me, it's all fun and games. So I really do appreciate you guys commenting down below your thoughts. And don't forget to like the video if you guys enjoy. That really does help out the channel. helps out the video a ton. So we get as many Knicks fans and NBA fans in here on the comment section. So we get into little debates of what the New York Knicks should do when it comes to the Donovan Mitchell situation. And of course, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Got a lot of Knicks content coming your way leading up until the NBA season and beyond. So with that being said, let's dive right into the video. So the package that the New York Knicks have offered to the Utah Jazz is Evan Fournier, Obi Toppin, two unprotected first round picks, an additional three first round picks, and some salary uh, cap as well. So that is not enough, according to the Utah Jazz. They want more. So it seems like the Knicks are, are comfortable of parting ways with Obi Toppin and Evan Fournier and five draft picks, two of them being unprotected first round picks. Now, I had a feeling that the Knicks are going to try their best to hold on to two of the three young uh, players on this team, like Grimes, Quickly, and Obi Toppin. And it seems like the odd man out is Obi Toppin in these uh, conversations. Now, that is unfortunate because I love Obi Toppin. You guys love Obi Toppin. But we all knew that if Donovan Mitchell has to come to the Knicks, there's going to be a young player on this roster that's going to be traded away. Whether it's Grimes, whether it's Quickly, whether it's Obi Toppin. We knew at least one of those three players is going to be traded away. Evan Fournier is included in this package because of the salary cap. Uh, it has to get done financially speaking. And I'm sure a lot of Knicks fans would be okay with giving up Evan Fournier. But this is a realistic trade um, in terms of from the Knicks perspective. Like this is what they're willing to give up. They don't want to overpay. And honestly, it's unfortunate the Jazz don't accept this because I think this is a great offer. Um, but uh, because you're giving up two unprotected first round picks and a total of five first round picks, a young player who has a lot of promise in Obi Toppin plus Evan Fournier. Now, it does seem like the Utah Jazz are going to want a little more. Now, what do the Knicks have to add in order to get this deal done? Is it another young player or is it more draft capital? If I'm the Knicks, I'd prefer to give up more draft capital if they're going to ask for another player because that means we can keep the young core because if this deal gets done and we give up Obi Toppin and Fournier and we give up a bunch of uh, extra first round picks, then the lineup is going to be pretty fun. Starting lineup, Brunson, Donovan Mitchell, RJ, Julius, Mitchell Robinson off the bench. We still have D-Rose, Quickly, and Grimes, and Cam Reddish, and we have uh, Hardenstein. It's going to be hard to see Obi Toppin go because he is going to be such a great player in this league, but you're keeping Quentin Grimes, who I think is going to be such a big piece for this Knicks team in the future. You're keeping Emmanuel Quickly, who I think is the most underappreciated young player on this Knicks roster, in my opinion. Um, so, obviously, this deal is not like for certain because the Jazz want way more. Um, so it's really going to be interesting to see how the Knicks are going to be able to up the price. How Who are they going to include? Are they going to throw in a guy like Deuce McBride? Are they going to throw in a guy like Cam Reddish? Because it does seem like they are trying their best to not uh, include Quentin Grimes and Emmanuel Quickly and, of course, not R.J. Barrett. Those are the three guys that the Knicks are trying to hold on to the most in this trade. And you can tell that the Knicks are very aggressive right now. They're trying their best to get a deal done to bring Donovan Mitchell to New York without sacrificing their entire future because you saw the report a couple days ago, um, or was it yesterday, that the Knicks uh, are offering a lot of uh, players, but they're also very hesitant to give up all the draft picks that the Utah Jazz are wanting, like seven first round picks and all the young players because they're worried that if the Knicks get this deal done, then it's not going to make them a championship contender and it's going to, you know, uh, set this franchise back in terms of uh, flexibility for future moves down the line. So this move is an example where you maintain that flexibility. You give up only two unprotected firsts, and then you give up the three first round picks that are probably protected. And then uh, we still have some of our own draft picks in the future to be able to uh, trade for the future. Uh, but at the end of the day, the Jazz want a significant upgrade from the Knicks' offer. So 
this is a package where it seems like this is where the baseline of where Leon Rose is trying to go. My biggest question for you guys is, is this a trade package that you're comfortable with? Do you want the Knicks to go higher with this price? Or do you feel like just offer this? If they decline it, they decline it. It's roll into the season with Jalen Brunson and the, and the guys returning uh, like RJ going into year four and Randall and all those guys. Or do you feel like the Knicks should absolutely um, up the price? Should they... Uh, include an extra couple first round picks should they add a couple more second round picks should they add in a young player like a deuce mcbride or a cam reddish or a quentin grimes if you guys want to give him up i don't want to give up quentin grimes at all i want to keep quentin grimes by any means necessary but i do feel like that this gives knicks fans finally an understanding of where the Knicks see uh, a price for Donovan Mitchell because all the, the rumors that we've been hearing for the past month and past couple of weeks has been what the Jazz have been wanting from the Knicks. We haven't really got an understanding of where the Knicks are, what the Knicks are willing to give out for Donovan Mitchell. And now we finally get an understanding of the New York Knicks' offer to the Utah Jazz. But it's unfortunate that the, that the Utah Jazz wants significantly more. I mean, you're giving up seven players in total. Five first-round picks and two players in, Utah, in um, Evan Fournier and Obi Toppin. So I don't know what the Utah Jazz are going to ask for more. They're probably going to want to include Quentin Grimes in the deal. They're probably going to want to include Emmanuel quickly in the deal. But if the Knicks can hold their ground, I don't know if there's a team out there that can absolutely top this offer. I know that the Hornets are involved, the Wizards are involved, and there's other teams that are probably calling Utah Jazz about Donovan Mitchell. But who else can top an offer of five first-round picks, two of them being unprotected from the New York Knicks, which is very valuable, plus a young ascending star, in my opinion, in Obi Toppin, who is just has to be given the opportunity to be a good player but he's buried on the bench under Julius Randle unfortunately so we never really get an opportunity to see Obi Toppin you know spread his wings with the Knicks unfortunately because of Julius Randle and uh, a veteran in M. Fournier who actually was a really good three-point shooter for the Knicks last year who still has two years left on his contract what other team out there is going to be able to top that offer because five first round picks from the Knicks two of them being unprotected is valuable plus a young ascending player in Obi Toppin and a veteran in M. Fournier now, if the Knicks want to hold their ground and say this is our final offer and they have confidence that there's not going to be another team out there to top that and the Jazz is just going to have to accept it eventually, then that is kudos to the Leon Rose. But if they also want to be aggressive and they want to really get the deal done, they're going to have to throw in a couple extra first round picks. They're going to have to throw in another young player to get the deal done because it does seem like the Knicks are very aggressive and they want Donovan Mitchell by any means necessary to bring him to the New York Knicks. But they also have to realize that if they want to bring him in, they're going to have to pay a little steeper price than what they're offering to the Utah Jazz. So again, guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments of this trade package. Do you think it's realistic for the Knicks to offer this? Do you think it's um, unrealistic for the Utah Jazz to want significantly more? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Please do not forget to like the video if you guys enjoy as well. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Knicks. Peace out.